Today, we're going to get to the bottom of the DoD Vibro Thong. Vibro Thang. Yeah, that makes a whole lot more sense. Vibro Thang. I better go get changed. jam i started out with a mostly clean chord pattern using the vibro thang to give a little bit of tremolo vibrato <laughs> Yeah, this video is all about the vibro thing, but how sweet is that Caroline the Blues expensive amplifier pedal? That made this a whole lot of fun. Anyway, we are gathered here today for the vibro thing. And what exactly is the vibro thing? There's actually a few different effects at play here, but it's not a simple this or that. Let's mess around with these knobs for a little bit and see what we can cook up. I've spent the past week or so playing around with this pedal, plus one late night going through the schematic, because the party just don't stop around here. Anyway, we've got a low frequency oscillator, an LFO, with the rate controlled by the RPMs knob. And then that signal goes off here through the drop knob to the amp bias input of this LM13600 op amp. So even though the whole rest of this looks like a phaser, spoiler alert, we're going to use that last stage there to get a tremolo effect, which is a modulation of amplitude, unless you're Leo Fender. And we can hear and see that modulation right here. The 
other leg of that LFO signal travels through the intensity knob and into the amp bias input of the first three stages up here. And what I think is happening is that lowering these brings them out of the equation. So we're really only hearing the phase based vibrato of that last stage. Raising that third knob up brings all four stages into alignment, making those all pass filters act more like a typical four stage phaser, like a phase 90. Then bringing up the image knob, that's the fourth knob on the right, increases the feedback, making it a lot more thick and pronounced. Just like putting syrup in the fridge. Back to the vibrato. A vibrato is simply an up and down modulation of pitch. If we throw some notes through a Boss VB2 vibrato, we get this, and we can clearly see those frequencies dancing back and forth. But the VB2 is getting its vibrato by using a delay and oscillating the playback speed like a warped record. There's no delay circuits in the vibro thing. So what we're hearing is a modulation of frequencies. See that? It's more like a trading back and forth than an actual side to side wobble like we get from the VB2. I bring this up because vibrato is one of those overloaded terms. It means different things to different people. And there's delay based vibratos like the VB2. There's frequency or phase based vibrato like we have here, which I think is kind of similar to what we're getting from the mid fi electronics random phase and vibrato. And then the Walrus Audio Lillian has the direct phase vibrato knob, which makes me think its vibrato is just phaser minus the original signal. Certainly not trying to do a shootout or a this versus that or a demo within a demo here. That's not really my style. I just wanted to show that there's more than one way to get a vibrato effect and more than a few effects getting called vibrato. So circling back around to the vibro thing, this is a tremolo and a phaser or phase based vibrato operating in parallel. I like to think of it as being a tremolo with an adjustable flavor, and that mix of amplitude and vibrato plus phase, I don't think the pedal police would come after me for considering it a rotary or rotary-esque effect. A phaser-fied harmonic tremolo? Let's get in one more jam before we find yet another way of describing this thing. Thank you. 
All right, that started out with a mix of everything, dirtied up a little bit with a Caroline Icarus Overdrive. I'm just really feeling Caroline pedals this week. Then I went for a fast tremolo and vibrato in the second half with just a little bit of drive. If this video planted a seed, keep an eye out, but don't wait too long. There's definitely a dwindling supply of vibro thangs out there, especially with the box. And the artwork for these Jason Lamb era pedals is, it's really something. Hey, thanks for watching. Keep shaking things up. I'll catch you on the next one.